everyone, this is Ben back with you in the model shop. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to talk about the ship's boats. And we're going to cover their uh, initial construction, we're going to cover the painting, and we're going to go over the Edward photo etch detail uh, that goes along to enhance them. We're also going to talk quite a bit about the uh, racks that hold the ships in place and how to make them fit with the deck because there's some they're not stock parts so there's issue making them fit with the stock, stock configuration of the ship's deck and then uh, last but not least I've decided in this episode down in the comments section well the d detailed description of this video sorry I'm going to include a bunch of timestamps for those of you who just like to skip along to the very end to see the end result or to certain parts of the build that you're interested in um, this, it took a lot of work to get these boats to this point. Uh, there's still some detail work that can be done still, uh, but I think that they look really good right now. And uh, yeah, I want to show you what, what I've accomplished. So uh, let's get into it. So let's get going here. This is the USS Arizona Part 3 Lifeboats Big Ed kit that we're going to be using and this is all the parts to it right here there's nothing too fancy to see quite yet but uh, looking down here this is the ship's instructions or I'm sorry the kit's instructions and you can see all of the boats that we gotta throw together so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is get the boats um, put together because then we can start looking at this which is the Edward Photo Etch enhancements um, to all of these ships that we got put together. And they also have, you know, like you can see right there, all the racks and everything that we have to make out of Photo Etch. Um, and those parts have to be removed and replaced with the railings. And, you know, I gotta be honest, I was a little worried that this was gonna be difficult because I saw a lot of really small parts here like the oars and everything and I was worried that um, this is going to be difficult to do but look at how big these things are I mean these are my fingers this is they're not small so uh, I think they're gonna be a quick I think well they'll go together quickly and I think it would be fun to put the photo etch on them so anyway let's go ahead uh, I'll get these assembled and then we'll start adding the photo etch detail and come back with that so this is cool and I thought I would show you guys uh, this piece right here number four which gets folded up and then inserted into the top of the uh, motor boat uh, right here we'll zoom in on it there we go that's a really neat piece and it's got the uh, little steps on either side it's got the little bench here and the door uh, it just folds up it's small but it's not too small that's a dime and then um, it's got to go in here kinda like so I gotta get it to fit in and work on all of that obviously but anyway uh, as you can see like once I get it installed in there you're not gonna really be able to make out a whole lot of that detail so I wanted to show that to you before I installed it and we're gonna make four of those and I think that's really cool so alright press it on getting in way here with what I'm calling the captain's gig except that there's uh four of them so I don't know I don't actually know what this boat is called but it's uh, I think it's about 40 feet long anyway it looks like captain's gig uh, I noticed I was like well right away this piece right up in here um, has to be put together and gets installed inside which means uh, that piece has to be prepped and painted and ready to go first uh, which means I have to paint the hull and get things kinda ready so here is what we have done so far. Uh, first thing I did is painted the hull gray, 
and put a black bottom on it. I painted this line. Um, it probably wasn't painted on the real thing, but I don't care. It looks sharp. This is dark gall gray. Uh, I did a little Wikipedia search. It said most of the boats of the ship were painted gray with a black bottom. And then if it was the captain's gig, it usually had a red line. And if it was like an admiral's, there was a green water line. I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, this is the top with the white superstructure, we'll call it. Kind of exaggeration there, but you know it goes together like this. Looks great. Then we have this awesome piece of Edward photo etch that gets inserted inside. And as you can see, I'll zoom in here. There we go. It's got some nice deck planking, little stairs, a fantastic door, and a bench that I have to install inside of here first. So everything's painted up. We're going to try and install this and then move on to the other photo etch detail. And we're going to do this four times. So let's see if we can make that happen. This is the progress we have so far. Um, well, you can see up here in the background, uh, Got some initial painting done. I went with uh, gall gray and we got white on the inside and working on, I guess you might call this the captain's gig. I'm not totally sure. It's a 40 foot uh, motorboat. But uh, let's zoom in on a couple things we've got going on here. Um, I did use the Edward photo kit to enhance it. Uh, there is a bunch of detail like railings and little harpoon hooks and stuff that go on top here, but they are microscopic <clears throat> and very difficult to work with and pretty much impossible to see so I'm omitting them uh, and then here we have the Edward uh, rack you know photo etch that the boat sits on and actually I mean it goes right on there really well let me let me change the view so there it is um, just sitting on there and uh, these drop into place and there's four of them so I have to make three more here and uh, I went with the gall gray because it's a little contrasting to the Arizona's navy blue it'll help it pop out and I am gonna paint the bottom uh, this rack here the navy blue but I wanted to show you it while it was in photo etch first so uh, there's the other three back here we gotta whip up and get them all into position and then we've got all the rest of them back there that get stacked up. So let's go ahead and make that all happen now. Okay just a real quick pro tip I made these racks to hold the ships in and they work really well for holding the things up level and securely so you can mount stuff like that little photo etch railing. So I actually suggest you go ahead and make these uh, for the Edward kit if you have them because it helps hold the ship. Alright, let's get the rest of this done. Alright, more progress. Uh, it's kind of slow going. There's a lot of detail on these things that I did not realize how long it was going to take. Let's go back here, look at what I was calling the captain's gigs, um, which will actually are the officer's boats, captain's gigs, officer's boat, what have you. Anyway, uh, hopefully you can make out there. I did end up putting on the photo etch railing on the top. If you look very carefully, that I said I was going to omit before, it it was hard to put on, but I made it work, and they look sharp. So we went ahead and did that. Uh, now on to the 50-foot boats. They're coming together okay. Um, got our railing and things like that. Uh, everything gets stacked up on top of them. The the stands from Edward are nice, uh, but these start to get a little... They're not as nice in terms of fitting extremely well um, as the other ones were. And depending on where you position the boat, uh, it tips up and down. you got to find that right spot. And because everything's going to stack here, uh, it's going to have to... I'm going to have to figure out where the best place is to put this thing so that the other boats could stack on top of it, like uh, the 40-foot motor boats back there, and those little stands actually sit on top. This one I had trouble with. You could see that uh, it's crooked. Um, I kind of had to leave it that way, because otherwise the boat sat uh, incorrectly. It didn't fit right, and I don't think anyone's really going to notice anyway. And then uh, up here, 
they're not mounted, they're just sitting there, are the little rowboats. Um, as you can see, they've got oars inside of them. And I used the kit supplied... Uh, we'll just set it there for now. I used the kit supplied rack for that instead of the photo etch I put on a long time ago. And uh, it worked out well. So anyway... Man, we're getting close. I uh, just got to do a few more pieces, paint up those racks, and then we got to start stacking them up, and we'll have this part wrapped up. We'll get it installed. All right, pressing on. Well, they're all done. This is what. Uh, this is enough of what I'm going to do uh, for now. A little bit of weathering in each of them, just to give the white a little bit of dynamic texture. Um, especially those that are on the top, and these two are on the top. Since the 40-foot boats right there and the 50-foot boats get stacked, I didn't worry about adding too much detail. And then, of course, the officers' boats look amazing by themselves. But there's one thing we got to work on here, or or take a good look at um, before we commit to everything, and that's right in here those holes are where the kit supplied parts uh, racks are supposed to go to hold the ships and there's some there's a little bit of an issue that we gotta take a look at alright you can see well enough down in here um, so you've got these sets of holes and that is where the racks go to hold the ships but first thing uh, we have to look at is that if I take this rack for instance and bring it up here you can see that the bottom is flat on on these little pillars right here uh, and down there we have round holes and that's not the end of the world but it it's kind of annoying but the big issue really is these two pieces right here uh, maybe even this locker but this is these are kit supplied parts and they are a certain height above the deck and that height happens to be lower or I'm sorry higher than this clearance right here so for example this one is where one of the officer boats go if I place it right on top of the holes it doesn't work at all and a lot of that has to do with let me grab a a lot of that has to do with the fact that um, there's six posts per side versus the four holes that you see there so, if I turn it sideways like that, it will fit. And there is room here for this gun to function. Uh, when we go up here, this big rack, here we don't have any problems. This one, this middle section here for the 50 foot launch boat, whatever you want to call it, it, it fits in place basically where it needs to go. However, right here this one is another issue and if I if I drop this piece in here um, it's crooked and sits on top wrong but if I move it over to there I do get I do get it to straddle um, the rails on the inside but you can see it doesn't cover the holes there quite right and the ships aren't going to be in there perfectly straight I can go ahead and move it over a little bit so I can get them to be parallel to one another. Sorry, I'm just filling with this with my tweezers, but you get the point. We can get them to be straight if we do that. This one I can't though. Um, it's just not going to clear unless I do something to raise it up, which I might. That's an option as I could cut some. Uh, you know, bar stock basically and make little posts to put this on so I could raise it up. It only needs to come up the little bit, um, or except for the fact that this is totally in the way of that part right there. So, yeah, that's really kind of annoying. Let's look over here. Actually, let me reposition the camera. So now you can kind of see down into this area. Um, same thing, this is, this will fit fine. 
I just was surprised at how tight uh, the quarters were here. These ships really, the boats are right up next to the center thing. Um, and then over here we have one that positions itself just like that. And, and those will go in just fine. Those are for the officer's boats. They'll fit well. But uh, up here, sorry, um, this area, that's where it's going to be a little bit more difficult to figure out. So let me work with that a little bit and see what I can, what I can do. Quick update here. Uh, the first thing I decided we need to do is those holes got to get filled in. If I'm going to move the stands around at all, and down here they didn't need to be moved, but um, I just it's easy enough to get rid of them. If they're going to be, if I'm going to move the stands in a slightly different position, I gotta I gotta fill in the holes. And so I used, excuse me, Squadron White Putty. I don't like this stuff, but as you can see right there, it, it's super fast drying. Uh, so fast that it's actually um, hard to get in, but basically it goes in fast and you get to fill the hole and then it's easy to kind of wipe up your mess. Uh, I didn't want to use my red um, automobile putty that I usually use, the Bondo, because I was afraid it would stain the deck. So after this dries, uh, I'm going to hit it with some super light tan paint to fill those in, and then after the ship's on top, you're not going to see anything. So Next step is get those all patched up, and then we'll start addressing mounting the stands with the lifeboats. There we go. The holes are filled in, and I painted them. And I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it's not perfect. Uh, I've got some little white dust left over, and, you know, that's not perfect, but let's zoom back out to here where you're going to look at it from, and... As you can see, it's not really that big of a deal. Also, let's go ahead and drop in this guy right here. And look, covers up most of that anyway, and then we'll put a ship on top of it. Also, that's one of the pieces that had a problem uh, because that little box area right there was in the way. So here's what we did. We went ahead here and I removed that leg and then I put in some styrene uh, angle bracket right there because it did actually make that those legs a little flimsy and you're not going to see it from that side it's going to be in here like this so that fixed one of the problems um, for getting this this in the right place uh, and clearing so the next thing I have to do is really it's just sort out clearing this one which is a little bit more of an issue because there's more stuff going on here uh, I think I might I may just go ahead and butt it up to the edge like that and just say that's as good as it gets. That's that's probably the solution since I did a better job with the paint on the other side um, filling in the holes. So let's get that mounted up and get these um, boats in place so we have something to look at here. So here's how we resolve uh, this issue. I, I, I want to show this to you not painted and cut out. Uh, basically I had to remove the side parts of that beam right there at this point so that the piece will fit right there over that uh, little bunker um, and let's let's show that real quick here just gonna put it right on top of there just like that I'll zoom in it's just sitting there but you can see focus sorry you can see that uh, it'll clear just like so and get that corner down and it's it's gonna be alright so I'm gonna touch up the paint uh, if you do this just note these have a direction this this support right up here in the front is narrower than the one in the back and that is meant to hold your little boat 
by little I mean a 50 foot lifeboat um, in the right spot. We'll get all squared up in a minute here, but that's where it's going to go. So let's paint it up. Uh, that fixes all of our issues that I was having, excuse me, here with the bases um, up here. And this middle one, of course, just drops into place. Get it roughed up there. So they all fit now. Let's lift this up a little bit. Uh, and you can see from here uh, where I touched up all the holes that I painted and everything, and I was a little white dust on You can't see that. Uh, if we zoom in, you can kind of make it. I mean, it's, they're in there. They're, it's messed up in there. You see, there you go. But they're all hidden, so the little repair job worked out fine. These down here might show up a little bit more, but really not worried about it. And that's because the officers' boats go right there, and they're super cool to look at. All right, let's glue these in place and uh, start to wrap this segment up. And there we have it. Ship's boats are installed. There's a few little details I'm sure uh, could be worked out, but they look good. Um, I didn't put any rigging or anything on them yet, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a good start right here. Uh, let's see if we turn this a little bit, get a look at things. I should mention, I accidentally painted underneath this captain's gig right here, that officer's gig. The racks are really light blue. That's actually uh, navy blue gray. Uh, I accidentally painted those the lighter color. You can see I did it down there as well. But <clears throat> I think it's okay. It's nice and contrasting. So, anyway, uh, they look good. Photo etch detail, I think, turned out nice. Sneak in there so you can kind of see some of the railing and stuff. Um, on this side, you only have the one. So the cranes get installed actually in that hole right there that you see. There'll be one on either side. Oops, sorry. But, um,. Yeah, that's it for now. It took a lot of work to get to this point. I tried the best I could to get a video out to everyone here sooner rather than later uh, so you could take a look at things. But, uh, yeah, that's it. So that's it for now. I'm not sure which section I'm going to work on next, if it's going to be the main superstructure or maybe we'll work on the cranes or do some more detail there. Um, I want to do some more work on the anchor chains up in the front and some deck detail up here uh, but I haven't totally decided yet what we're going to move on to next so anyway that's it for now ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this build and we'll see you next time with whatever it is I decide to do next take care